Namaste and welcome back to our podcast, where we explore the topic of Hinduism in modern times. In today's episode, we will be discussing the relationship between Hinduism and the environment. Hinduism has a deep reverence for the natural world, with many of its practices and beliefs emphasizing the interconnectedness of all living beings. The Hindu concept of Dharma, which can be loosely translated as duty or righteousness, includes a responsibility to care for and protect the environment. One of the most well-known aspects of Hinduism's relationship with the environment is the practice of ahimsa, or non-violence. This practice emphasizes the importance of avoiding harm to all living beings, including animals and plants. This principle is reflected in the Hindu diet, which includes vegetarianism as a way to avoid causing harm to animals. In addition to ahimsa, there are a number of other practices and beliefs within Hinduism that promote environmental conservation. For example, the concept of Varnashrama Dharma, which outlines different social and occupational roles, includes the role of the forest dweller, or hermit, who is responsible for living in harmony with nature and protecting the environment. Furthermore, the Hindu tradition includes a number of festivals and rituals that celebrate the natural world and its cycles. For example, the festival of Holi celebrates the arrival of spring and the renewal of life, while the festival of Diwali includes the lighting of lamps to symbolize the victory of light over darkness and the return of life after the darkness of winter. Despite these principles and practices, modern environmental challenges continue to pose a significant threat to the natural world. Climate change, pollution, deforestation, and habitat loss are just a few of the issues facing the environment today. In response, there has been growing interest in applying Hindu principles and practices to environmental conservation. One example of this is the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, a nationwide campaign launched by the Indian government in 2014 to promote cleanliness and hygiene. The campaign, which includes a focus on environmental conservation, is inspired by the Hindu principles of cleanliness and purity. Another example is the use of traditional farming techniques, such as organic farming and seed saving, which have been used in India for centuries. These techniques are based on the principles of sustainability and self-sufficiency, and are seen as a way to promote environmental conservation and protect traditional ways of life. Despite these efforts, there is still much work to be done to address the environmental challenges facing the world today. In addition to individual actions, such as reducing waste and conserving energy, there is a need for collective action at the local, national, and global levels to promote environmental conservation and sustainability. In conclusion, Hinduism has a deep reverence for the natural world, with many of its practices and beliefs emphasizing the interconnectedness of all living beings. The principles of Ahimsa, Varnashrama Dharma, and environmental conservation are all part of the Hindu tradition and can be applied to modern environmental challenges. However, individual and collective action is needed to address these challenges and promote environmental conservation and sustainability. As we continue to navigate the complex relationship between human beings and the natural world, it is important to remain mindful of the interconnectedness of all living beings and to work towards promoting greater understanding and harmony 